This is the third and final part to Sugar Gliders Can Be Messy. This is the post clean and redecorated um, video. Originally it was going to be part two, but as I was cleaning the cage, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to kind of show that what I found over the years worked for me. Um, the products and the routines that I have found just makes it a little easier for me to clean the cage. So it's just my preference. So um, in video two, I already had this shelf with their nectar feeding station and their upper fruit and veggie station in place. The wheel was removed, but it was washed and mostly dry. It was replaced. We have a clean pouch in there now. And I did go ahead and add the second shelf with a fleece bridge liner. Uh, we'll see how that works out. It's right above the treadmill right here. So let me start the tour of the refurnishing. So I went with a tropical feel and I started at the top. I used this um, mesh bridge that I made and I put these little palm trees in there and these are little treat cups that will hold. It actually has some other little treats in there now. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> That's kind of a um, experimental thing. I have a pineapple hanging from chain with some charms. That's more for me. I went ahead and put their cup back in this uh, cage cup. I put the palm trees in over here. They'll probably pull those out. And one of the little capsules is in here with some pellets. Um, I had it up here before. I just decided to just fill that spot with that. Underneath we have a little monkey and another treat cup and then a um, little hanging jingle ball there so that can be swung from. Um, below their feeding station I placed a hammock. It's actually a square hammock. Let's see if I can show you. But I use it as a corner hammock at times and I put it there to um, kind of cover the feeding station right here. I moved the floor feeding station over to the right side so their ceramic bowl will sit there and that kind of protects the um, debris from above falling into their their food. Um, their tree house is in there now. The Noah's Ark has been removed, washed, and is now drying with some little animals there. And I have some more toys on the floor over here. Their little stinky fleece hedgehog buddy. I rubbed along the cage bars to get their scent back on and a little turtle over there. And I went ahead and put this uh, back in. I added some different items, some little tropical animals and a little bracelet. Um, I wish I could find more of these because I have found that they have made their way to their pouch um, some time ago when I had them in the cage. I don't know where all of them are now. But anyway, this is uh, the finished setup and we'll just see how this works out. Some things may be fine-tuned after they've been released and I see how they they go for a day. Um, while I have my video on, I'll just show you underneath the cage here. Um, I have the bin for their dirty toys I keep stored underneath the cage. So that's on the floor slides underneath back there like so. Their dirty fleece bin also slides back like so. And then these are just some basins and things that I use for cleaning and drying and or washing. And that also slides back there. Um, a little bucket that I keep that brush in, my sponge in, and my uh, vinegar water solution bottle in. And also a little dustpan and broom for quick cleanups. I use this and a paper towel when I uh, clean the drop pan every day. I use a paper towel, sweep debris in there, dump it into the container of drop pan yuck. And um, then I spray with this. I spray the pan down and, and use another paper towel to wipe. Um, so that's how I keep my cleaning supplies that I use daily right here in the front. Okay, so this 
concludes the um, Sugar Gliders Can Be Messy three-part series. Thanks for watching.